Making the mushroom risotto. Got all my ingredients here. Some homemade stock, two liters, shallots, black oyster mushrooms, cremini mushrooms, got a little bit of butter, got some flat leaf parsley, and yeah, got our rice, and of course some pecorino romano. I love that cheese. Uh, a little bit of white wine, kosher salt, yes, freshly cracked black pepper. And I got myself some fresh thyme picked from the garden. And of course, some shrooms and mascarpone in the fridge. Turn the heat on the pot. I'm going to put in a little bit of olive oil. And what I'm going to do here is uh, saute the shrooms. So I'm going to put them both in here, both the creminis. And give them a little dump. And there goes the black oyster mushrooms. I love black oyster mushrooms. They're so good. Anyway, in go the black oyster mushrooms. Yum, yum. Alrighty, yeah, give that a little stir. Now we're just going to basically uh, saute these, sweat them down a bit so that they uh, just release their juices, but you do not want the juice to evaporate because that's going to get folded back <laughs> into the risotto. And uh, once they're partially cooked, I'm just going to put the uh, garnish mushrooms right on top so they'll just get a little soft and they'll be easier to retrieve. I kind of forgot that a little later and tossed them around and then I had to fetch them out, but that's no big deal. Anyway, stir the mushrooms till they're nice and soft. And once you get them to that point, I just remove them from the pot, put them in a little bowl, put them aside, because they're going to go back in here a bit later. And now, and don't clean the pot, it's got all that mushroom juice in it. So I add a little more olive oil <laughs> and some shallots. Now this was a really big shallot and I was happy with that because I like a lot of shallots in that. <laughs> Put all the shallots in. I'm gonna saute these for about two or three minutes, give or take. Oh, there's the mushroom. See all that juice in there? Oh, mushroom wine. Cook the uh, shallots till they're translucent. And at that point, I add in a little knob of butter and let it melt and just get it to start brown a tiny bit and that's when I add the rice. Did you cook the rice, give it a little crispier edge which helps it retain its shape after it cooks, you know, basically for 20 minutes to half an hour in stock. That delicious nuttiness from brown butter. So a lot of stirring, a lot of stirring, and a lot of stirring. Uh, two or three minutes and after that when the rice is nice and crispy, Add the wine, and at this point you're going to cook that until it's evaporated and absorbed, a combination of both. So when uh, the rice gets nice and, and dryish again, that's when we're going to start adding in our stock. Now that's preheated, and I'm keeping it warm while I'm doing it, and I add about three quarters of a cup, give or take, each time I do it. Let it ladle in a bit, and then I just basically Oh yeah, and normally I add the thyme at the end, but my wife is a little thyme sensitive. <laughs> so I add it in the stock, so it's just a little bit of a subtle of thyme influence rather than having the loose thyme in the, in the uh, risotto itself. So there we go, got that all absorbed, and we're gonna add some more stock. And you're going to repeat this process a lot. <laughs> like a lot, like I think in this one, I probably added the stock in in about 12, doses. There's about two liters. So, give or take, probably, yeah, somewhere between 15 and 12 and 15 uh, ladle pulls of stock going in there. And you can see, liquidy, but in very short order, within two minutes, all of that liquid will be absorbed into the rice, and it'll thicken up, and you pull it aside, you can see the bottom. And at that point, you know, you can add some more in. And that's what we're going to do. <laughs> And the nice part is, if you'll notice almost right away, the, uh, the stock and the rice start simmering because it's hot. So that way you're not adding cool stock to your risotto so it doesn't retard the cooking process or slow it down. It just keeps cooking. So there we go. Again, rice is absorbed. Now I'm, I'm editing a little bit here to, to, so you don't have to watch a whole bunch of stirring for 25 minutes. But there we go. Stir that in. And again, about two minutes later, nice and thick. Um, most of the liquid's gone. Keep adding it. And keep adding it. And keep adding it. <laughs> uh, I don't leave my risotto pot or pot at this point. People do, and you can for short periods of time, but I just like to keep on top of it. 
Now here we go, that's the last of the stock being added in. The two liters is entirely gone in there. And that was uh, actually two cups of, uh, of Oreo rice. Now still a tiny bit runny here. You can see it uh, simmering away there though. There we go, that's where I want it to be. Just a little bit liquidy. That's when I add the cheese, look at that. <laughs> and just fold that in, it'll melt away. Add in your mushrooms, stir those through thoroughly. Once those are done, add a couple of pats of butter. Thank you, butter's good, my friend. So tasty. <laughs> and add some Pecorino Romano. Add it about, uh, two-thirds of a cup here, give or take. And freshly cracked black pepper. Oh, ho, ho. that's looking good. Yeah, so at this point, I just stir that in. It's uh, pretty much off the heat at this point. So there we go, we have the cheese is mixed in, the mushrooms and butter mixed in. It's getting ready to plate. Oh, look at that, awesome. So, there we go into a bowl That's beautiful another little knob of butter some more pepper and i mean i love pepper I, you you can, don't have to use as much as i do but i love pepper and a little topping of pecorino romano add some fresh parsley and there we go ladies and gentlemen black oyster mushroom risotto that is so good you know what i'm gonna have to do pretty soon i think i might have to eat some of this that's not gonna suck even a little bit. I'm gonna love it. <laughs> oh, look at that black oyster mushroom. Mm. All right. Tasting time, ladies and gentlemen. It's tasting time. Totally eat this again. Of course I would. I mean it. 